We're currently at the beginning of spring and there are many different jobs to do in the garden at this time of the year. But one of those jobs is pruning deciduous shrubs. And the kind of things that you'd be pruning at this time of year include Philadelphus, Cotinus, Forsythia, and plants such as this Rosa rugosa. For some reason, when pruning deciduous shrubs, people get a little bit nervous, but you really needn't be. It's a very simple process, and I'm going to talk you through it step by step. I'm going to be using a couple of products from Spear & Jackson. The first one is this dual-geared bypass lopper, and the second one is a pruning saw. So the first thing we need to do is remove any dead or diseased wood and this dead branch is actually growing on an older stem which we're going to remove anyway. This here is the younger growth from last year and that will carry the flowers for this year. When removing thicker stems such as this one I'd recommend that you use a pruning saw. The next stage is to remove some of this top growth to alleviate some congestion. As we're in early March, you can see these buds just breaking through and that's the perfect place to just cut these here and here, which will remove these heads, which are the last year's spent flowers. Now the pruning of the rose is complete, it's in a great position to flower wonderfully this summer. It's a brilliant job to do on a cold spring day like today. I've used a selection of tools from the Spear and Jackson range. The first one is this folding pruning saw, and this is great for cutting any wood which is over 40 millimetres in diameter. The second is this dual geared bypass lopper, which is brilliant for cutting anything under 40 mil, and it really makes light work of those thicker stems. Finally, I just took the last year's flowering buds off using the small secateurs. I'm Lee Bestall in association with Spear and Jackson. Thanks for watching.